Our next set of examples is uh, how to evaluate the logarithm. And so here's as an example, I have the log to base 2 of 64. What is that equal to? What that really means is that you're taking the base and raising it to this unknown number and you should get 64. And the question is, what is that unknown number? So to make it simpler to, to work with it, we let the unknown number be represented by x. And so in this case, we're going to be solving for x. And that means that we're taking the base 2, raising the x, and getting 64. Then how do you solve for x? And the best way to do that is to take the 64 and write it as an, in an exponential form. So what we can do here is say 2 to the x is equal to, 64 can be written as 2 to the 6th power, and therefore x must equal 6. And that's how you do that. Okay, here again as an example, we're looking for the value x, and we know that the base 3 to the x power is equal to 1 over 27. And so we know that 27 is the same as 3 to the 3rd power. So we can say that uh, 3 to the x power is equal to 1 over 3 to the 3rd power. Oop, I was going to write x, but I really meant to write 3. And of course, 1 over 3 to the 3rd power is the same as writing 3 to the minus 3 power. So we can write this as 3 to the x is equal to 3 to the minus 3 power. And then you can clearly see that x is indeed equal to minus 3. OK, our next example, again, we take the base 10 and we raise it to the x power, and we should get 1,000. So the question is, what do we raise 10 to? What is x equal to the exponent? So we get 1,000. And at this point, you can almost see it just like that. But again, the idea is that 10 to the x power is equal to 1,000 can be written as 10 to the third power. And therefore, you can see, yes, x equals 3. And our final example, we have log to the base 5 of 25 equals x, so that means that the base 5 raised to the x power equals 25. And here you can clearly see that if x is 2, 5 to the second power is 25, so therefore x equals 2. So once you see the pattern, it's pretty straightforward. It's just a little awkward to first get used to how to deal with exponents in exponential form and logarithmic form. But that's the simple way of solving for x in this particular case.